A nonprofit environmental group at odds with a chemical manufacturer over the safety of a weed killer. Caught in the middle, 72 New Jersey elementary schools located within 1,000 feet of fields sprayed with the chemical. According to a new report by the nonprofit Environmental Working Group, 487 elementary schools across the country are at risk of exposure to the toxic herbicide known as 2,4-D. While the product's maker calls this recent report inflammatory. An interactive map included in the report marks nine elementary schools in red, signifying that they are within 200 feet of corn and soybean fields. Orchard Hill Elementary in Montgomery, Somerset County is marked in red on the map. The school has farms around it on three sides. Parents, faculty and students should be concerned of their elementary school kids near these fields because exposure to 2,4-D has been linked to Parkinson's, cancer, thyroid issues, reproductive issues, and children under 12 are especially vulnerable. But the Environmental Protection Agency says parents do not need to worry as long as the product is used correctly. We at EPA have spent a lot of time looking at 2,4-D and we've concluded that <clears throat> both the products that are currently registered in the United States and the Enlist product that is being proposed for registration are going to be safe for kids. The new product under their consideration is called Enlist Duo. It contains 2,4-D, which has been used by farmers for decades. But today's weeds are more resistant, and reports say farmers are anxiously awaiting the new product's approval. The federal government's decision is due in the fall. Dow AgroSciences, which makes Enlist Duo, provided a two-page response to NJTV News Today, stating, quote, the Environmental Working Group's inflammatory claims represent an irresponsible attempt to proliferate misinformation that has previously been debunked on multiple occasions. According to an industry task force, 2,4-D is the most widely used herbicide in the world, with 46 million pounds of it used every year here in the U.S. It's sprayed along roadways, on residential lawns, as well as on farmland. According to the National Pesticide Information Center, acute exposure to 2,4-D can irritate the skin. But the NPIC says research has not implicated any relationships between normal exposure and disease. In Montgomery, I'm Christy Duffy for NJTV News.